Hi everyone, it's Linnea for LDRS Creative, and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to assemble the Christmas Village card from the Christmas Concertina kit available on HSN. These cards are really simple to build and are more than just a card, they're more like pieces of art. You can see here how it forms this concertina style of project where you can stand it up on a bookshelf or on your mantle or anywhere that you'd like to display this project. So what you're going to do is just piece these folds together, glue them together, and I'll walk you through all of this. But check this out. Look how when I squeeze this together it kind of just folds in on itself and that allows you to place this into an envelope and send it through the mail if you want to. It's not super thick so you can mail it and all I do is just kind of squeeze and pinch in those edges and the rest of the card folds in on itself and that allows you to place this into a 5 by 7 envelope and these envelopes are included in your Christmas concertina kit and you can see how easily it fits right in. This is a 5 by 7 envelope, so an A7 envelope fits right in perfectly. And when you open it up, you pull those edges, and it pops right back up just like it's supposed to. And it's able to easily sit on a desk or a table, wherever you want it to go. Alright, so I'm going to bring in the five panels that you will need to build this card. You'll need your back panel 1R, a front panel 1F, a room insert 2F, a room insert 4R, and then that last piece is the tree insert. You'll need one of each of these five pieces. I'm going to start with the back panel 1R. This is kind of going to form the base of your card, even though it's going to end up being the back panel. This is where we're going to be adhering these first couple panels to. I'm going to flip it around to the front, and you're looking for this little designation where it says attach panel 1F that's where you're going to be attaching your first panel to. I'm going to start by folding on these crease lines. So these side panels all the way to the left and the right, I'm going to fold them back onto each other. So I have kind of a flat space to work with, but then you'll notice that there are some score lines where the windows go as well, and I'm going to fold those back too, being careful not to rip that little score line that's in the center of the window. I find it best to kind of start on the edges and then pinch in the middle there. So now you can see I have this base of the concertina card and I want to add my next panel onto it. And here's a little trick that I have found. You want to make sure that throughout this whole process the edges are lined up at the bottom so that it will lay flat on your surface and you also want to make sure that your center score lines are lined up. If you follow those two guidelines, you'll be fine throughout this whole process. So I folded back those two side panels, the ones all the way on the left and the right, so that I can easily see the designation where it says attach panel 1F. I've grabbed my front panel 1F. I'm going to score that in the center. And then on the sides, there are two little tabs. You want to fold those tabs backwards for this first panel. And on the panel, on the little side tabs, it says 1F, and then on your base panel it says attach 1F. So you're going to just add a thin line of glue, or you can use double-sided tape. I prefer to use glue for this project, because that gives me a little bit of time to wiggle things around if I need to, but I know it's still going to hold on tight. So I have folded back those side panels on the back panel, and that gives me a straight edge to line up that fold line to. So I added that first tab, and now I'm going to go ahead with the second tab, adding a thin line of glue, because I don't want extra glue to seep out. I only want glue where those tabs are. I'm going to make sure that my edges are aligned on both the sides and on the bottom. Very important that it's aligned on the bottom. And then I'll press that in place, give that just a couple seconds to adhere, and here's what you're going to be left with, kind of like a little circle. But you can see I'm going to pinch those edges together and then the card just folds up onto itself. Throughout this whole video, you're going to see me making sure that this card folds up. Every time I add a new panel, I'm going to fold it and make sure that it works because I'd rather correct a mistake that I've made right then and there rather than have to go back and figure out later where I may have made a mistake. Let's go ahead and do our first room insert panel. So this is room insert front 2F. 
I'm going to fold on those score lines and I'm just kind of mimicking the the folds that are on that front panel because this is going to sit right behind that front panel. Kind of looks like a little M. Now these side tabs, the last time we folded them back, but from now on we're going to be folding the side tabs forward towards us. So they should be creased towards you. And you're going to see as I pick up my concertina card and set this on my desk, this front room insert panel is going to sit right in between there. And it's going to just adhere in there and it's going to become the background. So when you peek through the windows and doors, you see the scene inside of your concertina card. The tab is going to adhere right into that little nook on both the left and the right hand side. So I added some liquid adhesive and what I'm going to do is just fold that side tab back just like I did when I was adhering that front panel. I'm going to press that tab into that corner, right into that crease, making sure that it's aligned on the bottom and then I'll press that in place. Now I don't want to remove this panel since it's already adhered, so I'm just going to place my fingers inside of this concertina card and kind of spread apart those layers, add my liquid adhesive to my right tab, and then again making sure that the bottom is lined up straight and that the tab is right in that little nook, and I'm going to press that in place. Just like I said before, here we go. I'm going to lay this out, look at it, make sure it looks good, and then I'm going to squeeze this together and fold it, making sure that everything is working just perfectly. If it is hard to fold, go ahead and while that liquid adhesive is still um, not still a little bit tacky, pull that out maybe, make sure your crease lines are really creased. We're going to now move on to the back side of this card. So I have room insert 4R, and this is going to go against the back panel. Again, I'm folding this up so that it looks like a little M, folding those tabs that we're going to adhere to the inside of the concertina card, folding them towards me. I'm going to take my concertina card, turn it around to the back, so you can see that I have nothing behind the windows and doors right now. And you're going to see just like that front room insert, this one is going to pop right down. So we are in between that back panel and the front room insert. I'll add a thin line of liquid adhesive onto the tab. And just like I did with the front room insert, I'm going to place this in, making sure that the bottom pieces are all flush. I have it actually tapped against my work surface so I can press it all the way in there. And then I'm going to take that tab and push it into the corner and adhere that in place. Again, I'm using my fingers to spread apart those layers and then I'm going to add some liquid adhesive onto the right side of the tab and press that into that little nook, making sure those bottoms are aligned and giving that liquid adhesive some time to adhere. Once I know that it's secure, I'm going to go ahead and just show you again how easily this should fold. But check out those windows and doors. I just love being able to peek through and see those scenes. So again, I am just double and triple checking every step of the way that this card is going to be able to fold up properly so that I can mail it to whoever I want to mail it to. Everything's looking good and there's only one more piece left to add to this concertina card. You're going to find your tree insert and this tree insert piece is the easiest piece to work with because it does not require any adhesive at all. This should be a free moving piece. I'm going to fold along those score lines and flip my concertina card back over to the front. Now you see those little notches on the left and right side of the tree insert? Those are going to hang right over that front room insert 2F piece. So I'm going to just slide this in, putting those notches right over that room insert, the front piece, and then that's it. It should be free moving should be able to lift up and down and shift slightly left and right if it needs to. But I'm gonna show you this here, just how it folds together perfectly. Folds up so it'll fit into an A7 envelope, and that's it. You've made a Christmas concertina card, and it is a true masterpiece, a work of art. Anyone you send this to is going to be absolutely amazed that you made this by hand. Now included in this kit, there are lots and lots of pieces of ephemera so you can customize your scenes. This is a blank 
card right now, but I have some photos that I'm going to show you of little ephemera pieces that I've added to the front, and don't forget to decorate the back of your card as well. You can see that there's lots of little people with gifts, having a snowball fight, there's cats, dogs, birds, squirrels, everything you need to complete your scene. That's it, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you soon. Bye.